uh, we're extremely excited to get our uh, hands back on a, a real aircraft, convert it uh, to our new power plant, and prove to the world what, what we can do. So today we're um, receiving the DO228, which is a big milestone because over the next three months, uh, we're going to be converting it to a hydrogen electric aircraft. Uh, we are going to use it for training, so we need to understand how the aircraft behaves in every condition, having the same uh, engine from the original configuration installed. Then we will have these first weeks where we get confidence with the aircraft uh, and we get confidence about uh, how the aircraft behaves, and then we will retrofit. And then we will be able within summer to fly the configuration uh, which we want to demonstrate is working uh, with our hydrogen electrical propulsion system. The whole process will probably be going on for um, quite a long time, I would think. Not just for the modification of the initial aircraft that we've got here, but for you know, all the future projects that we have. Um, the Dornier itself is a great platform as a testbed aircraft because we can modify everything we like on the left-hand side of the aircraft and not affect the right-hand side. They're actually basically identical airframes, and the initial configuration will be, uh, again, almost identical to the uh, aircraft in the UK. Uh, thereafter, they will diverge, where we will try different tech on the two different platforms in parallel so that we can effectively double our ability to iterate and try new technologies. We are targeting 2024 for the entry into service of our first commercial propulsion system.